Hey, what's up to you too? So I'm gonna show you my portfolio for my third and final year of the interior architecture program. So let's start. This is the cover. It's vinyl. And then I made it myself, so that was challenging. I'm not really a craftsmanship person. Table of contents with logo. So first we'll start with freehand drawing, technical drawing, which is like um, construction documents, model building, space planning, design, drawing, process, and then miscellaneous. So freehand drawing. This is actually digital viz. It's Photoshop, Illustrator. So this is just, um, I was doing like a, a flyer for the Jazz Kitchen at Downtown Disney. Made it very like vintage looking. I only did one. Technical drawing. So this is my first time ever hand draw and hand rendering. Very awful. <laughs> like the chat, it looks like it's mold. mold. But it was fun. And then this is cool. And then model building. So furniture design. I actually really enjoy furniture design. This was inspired by the Chinese characteristic Yuren for people. And then the design concept was um, that it was, um, how do I explain it? We are all here to like take care of each other. This is right here, Yuren, and it's like supporting the whole table. So that's my design, two time. And then it had glowing epoxy, like a waterfall down here. So at night, it looks like a waterfall. It's pretty cool. And then our lighting fixture. This was supposed to be a wall sconce, but I had a hard time, so I just made it into like a pendant light. Pretty cool. And then digital model building, learn um, construction, like studs, drywall, rebar, concrete. And then this is the extended version of it that we learned in model building. Really good to understand this in interior architecture. And this is with all the materials applied to it. And as you see, installations, very cool. Space planning, this is for the hotel. This is a design concept, inspiration page. And then furniture selection with legends. And then lighting selections. And then this is the floor plan of this is the king suite with the living room. And then the twin. And then this is ADA for for wheelchair accessible frames. So I redid this. This is the newer version, redo. And this is the first time I ever, or I guess second time, really rendering. Oops. Reflective ceiling plan for it. This is a power plan. And it's all hand drawn <laughs> and hand rendered. This is the television elevation, the living room elevation with a cool spider lighting fixture. This is a corridor with backlit 3D kind of feel to it with organic um, console table. I wanted to put a hammock <laughs> here. It's just the fun feeling of it. And this is the window elevation. And then there's like three stud uh, stumps to step on to go on to the hammock. So that's one. And then next is our office design inspired by Victoria's Secret. The secret to Victoria. So very modern, chic, pink, black, gold, bubble diagrams. 
so that way we would know our adjacencies, reflective ceiling plan. This is a floor plan, very angular. I was going for a like a fashion walkway so that way when they showcase their new um, clothing line in the office everybody could just gather around and then they could just walk through the whole office so everyone can see. This is the first render. It's, as you can see it's like very busy so I simplified it so that way people can see it more. And then, oops. One of the elevations in the sewing room. These are LED lights strip. And then the marble. I'm so happy how the marble came out. The fitting room elevation. Not my most favorite design. It's very black and white. But I guess it's somewhat still a design. And then this is the retail area. I believe it was located in San Francisco, as you can see from the background. And then I wanted to hang up <laughs> um, the lingerie and stuff. It's, on the side is like very thin. And then one of the perspective for the reception desk. So the walkway also uh, lights up. And then here, I really love lighting. <laughs> redo this is the open office area as you can see everything's very angular and then up top too has drop down ceiling and then fashion show light spotlighting so that's the end of Victoria's Secret and then now is the this is our residential design we went for a very art deco design inspired by the great Gatsby for the New York loft this is material selections and then furniture selection. I went very retro 1930s kind of feel but but everything in moderation. Bubble diagrams. Oops. Reflective ceiling plan for the first floor or ground floor. So that's the first floor, kitchen, and then guest room, bathroom, very dark patio, grand room, powder room, bar, laundry area, and then bubble diagram for the second floor, reflective ceiling plan, and then this is the second floor, so the bedroom, and then like a business conference space bathroom and then I put a hammock over the loft or designed I'm sorry elevation from the entrance so this is what you see when you first walk in and then the perspective one point perspective oh I think I skipped one yeah this is the section cut for both seeing the first floor and the second floor and then the perspective of the grand living room. Next is the restaurant design. It was inspired, very Chinese modern. Yeah, I named it Yum Cha because it reminded me of the Yum Cha restaurant dim sum at in Hong Kong. And I totally forgot. I didn't mean to copy, I'm sorry. <laughs> but inspired by my family. Uh, we actually went to the job site in Bradbury building. We had fun taking pictures, material selections, physical material selections, reflective ceiling plan, designed with acrylic glass and mimic looking like a tree to give that glowing effect, the floor plan, and then inspired, it was inspired from my family, my little brother, my dad, and then my grandma, my mom back in Hong Kong. We were all in Hong Kong. <laughs> and then furniture selection. And this is the elevation of the when you first walk in, all the booth seatings, and this is the reception desk. 
and here is the logo inspired by my brother <laughs> and then it's like a little dim sim head and then the banquet seatings then this is the perspective of all the booth seating and the banquet seating and then here's the perspective of the bar area this is not my final render because I gave it away to my aunt because she really liked it so I redid it <laughs> is really bad as you can tell and then inspired from my grandma right here and then bird cage lighting because um, in feng shui for Chinese interior design birds give fortune and opportunities is what they represent and then bubble diagrams the next after is design processing so this was a very like conceptual design. It was kind of more like architecture, inspired by Huntington Beach design process, site plan, where like where it's located and what is like around it. So this is a pier, and then this is a Pacific City in Huntington Beach floor plan. This is the front elevation, so I added like these are slides and swings, and then you could rock climb. See it better in the perspective. This is the west elevations, so I did like made it look like movement, like a wave. So I moved the slide like up, up, up more. And you can sit on top of it when you climb, and then you slide down into the water. <laughs> Just make it fun. This is the one perspective. I actually really like this one. I, I thought I did it at first, but I'm surprised. I don't know, it's just fun. And then I always like to do nighttime for some reason. I just adore it. This is the interior perspective of it. And as you see up here, you can like rock climb on the back of it. And here's a slide for you to lay down or you can lay on the ground. People can ride through, run through here. And then during the sun, all these sh like shapes right here will make shadows to create movement when people are walking and you can sit in a swing inner beauty spa so this one was really fun it was inspired and by my my aunt she is a hairstylist and she wants to open up a salon one day so hopefully this can guide me to guide her when she wants to open her salon and do her design and then just more design concepts so material selections and um, natural selections to help guide me the into my design concept this is the reflective ceiling plan and then this is the floor plan so the floor plan was inspired by the koi fish because my dad he loves koi fish and I wanted to put it inside the spa but it's in glass so people can see but it's thick enough about four inches and tempered glass so people can't break it and then when people like these right here is the male restroom shower rooms and female restroom shower rooms and then this is the massage area this is the spa area and here is just seating area where the fire pit is and then they could come outside in the garden and just feed like the little fishy <laughs> is the section cut as you can see I put a waterfall in the ceiling for the spa area and you can see the fish swimming inside and then I put an underground fridge because when you put things underwater it's naturally like cool and then it mechanically comes up and these things are fun oh what is it called it's like these pendant flower lights and it blooms when it goes up and down. It's pretty cool. And then I put jars on the outside um, for like a fountain feel. This one was really fun. I don't know how I came up with this. This is another section cut. This is the bathroom. This is ADA for our wheelchair friends. I shouldn't say that. Accessible friends. The bathroom. And then fishies blowing the bowls. And then rocks 
And then on the outside too, I put walls so that way it would cancel out the sounds in um, actually I think this is located in Newport Beach and then just a model build and then this is more details of the inner beauty spa this is the reception desk again this is inspired and then I want to thank my friend Jennifer for inspiring me with the bubbles and creating well creating it my own too Material selection. Oh, and this picture I took in um, Hong Kong, so that helped a lot too with the organics. The reception desk area. And then this is details of the reception desk with the ADA curve. And then just lighting to enhance the logo. And then over here, I believe I had details over here too. This is the entrance um, when you first walk into the spa. So we have retail to showcase and put lighting to enhance and increase sales. Our receptionist, our logo, it's like a mermaid and just like circles to continue that circle design and just bring balance within the space and feng shui, seating and just plants and more greenery that we could probably sell those to, those, those would be cool. And then detail design to how to design the shelving in the walls and are those in? Nope. Yeah. And then the receptionist design, details of it. And then another section. Next is death row records, reception, or not reception, office design. Uh, this is the inspiration page. I actually really had a hard time with this one. I think I went a little bit too much on it. So, uh, Tupac. <laughs> yeah, I spent way too much time on that part. This is the reception area. Very straightforward, organic, and then this is the waiting area. I made it very masculine, but I also wanted to add color to it. This is a section cut of the reception desk. Mm -hmm. And then very industrial doors. Oops. This is the front elevation of the reception desk. Very, I was sticking to like the 90s design. So I, I went with a really gold change. <laughs> and then it came up with a logo for Death Row Records. And then this is the first perspective of the reception area and the waiting area. I'm so sorry about this. <laughs> this is all the record labels of Death Row Records. I have wallpaper. I went with very exposed because their music is very raw gold bars and just velvet that richness and leather keeping it manly brick again keeping it bra and then furniture selection this is a reflective ceiling plan again with the cold gold change and i add color in the conference space this is the floor plan of the the Death Row Records inspired. Very simple, very straightforward. I uh, kept them away from the windows so that way everyone could get sunlight except the private offices against the walls. This is the elevation of the office. This is the elevation of the conference room and the office. Hmm, I actually like this part. I don't know. I had a hard time with this one. This is the perspective of this is the um, the talent and unique space where new like rappers or music artists come in and they showcase their work. And then there's a bar too to enjoy, like a speakeasy kind of thing. This is the open office, <laughs> Thug's Mansion, one of Tupac's music. So. Yeah, it was inspired because Tupac's music, he was saying, I wish there was like 
a place for us to just like hang out if you listen to Doug's Mansion. This is what I was kind of inspired by was his music. And then a few more furniture selections, keeping it very masculine, natural, again raw, just like their music. Miscellaneous. So this is from kitchen design class. Very extremely detailed. It's just very detailed about the kitchen. One of the perspectives. Perspective when you first walk in from the garage, I believe. And construction documents. You see all these specs that was specked out. Oh. Yeah, very detailed. And then elevation of the refrigerator doors. Elevations of the front of the sink. Elevation, well, detail elevation of because we have to tell the contractors how high to put it, how wide it is, and how how much to cut the doors. So I put two uh, wall ovens and I did put in or designed in the coffee maker. Everyone wants coffee. And then the island design. So I put open shelvings for them. And then I put like pull out drawers, deep drawers for pots, pans. And then the very top I put like, uh, what is it, cutlery, utensils, there we go, <laughs> cutlery. This is the front again, but with the island in front with uh, mini fridges for easier access. This is a construction plan. This is a reflective ceiling plan where all the lighting goes and what switches are connected to the lighting. And then more specs. For here. This this one was fun. This one was the okay, this is specifically is it specifically or statistically? I can never say that word. Lighting design. Lighting design is a whole new thing. So we had to design our school corridor. And I kept it very simple. I think the perspective will make more sense. So these spaces are like meeting spaces for students to wait for their class or like hangout spaces or yeah, waiting spaces for class. And then there are solo spaces for them to like study or something. Let's see. I think I skipped one. Yeah, another reflective ceiling. It was a really long hallway. So we had to cut it into sections as you can see and this is our orientation right here. Another reflective ceiling plan. A uh, floor plan. This is the details of how the, what is it called, millwork design and then the recessive line and then I believe that one I did the cove lighting. This is an ele elevation of, so our building was the design building. Uh, we also work with product designers, furniture designers, industrial designers, well, I guess that's the same. Um, I designed adjustable shelving up top and the sides because everybody products might be different. And then I put um, cabinet uh, millwork lighting in it so that way it would like in like increase attention to their products. And then a couple of students here with wall lighting. And then here is one of the spaces. So I did two spaces. Blue is like a hangout space for students. And then this is with the table. If they want to study, bring out their laptops or work together, It'd be kind of cool. And then I put acoustical uh, fabric. So that way, no matter how you, loud you are, nobody can hear you. And this is one of the perspective. This one was really fun actually. So I put skylights and then I put wood with a flush mount lighting. I did like a pattern skylight and then flush mount skylight, flush mount. And then I put um, task lighting and spot lighting so that way when people put up artwork on here or the walls, it, they we, these are movable too. So that way they can shine on their work. And you can see someone in the solo pod right now, and this is like a waiting area for class. 
because sometimes people drive from far away to come here. So that one was really fun. I think I made this person so tall, but then it's funny, my friend saw someone this tall and looked exactly like, like this with glasses and everything. It's so funny. And then this one, oh, this one was really fun. So this is when I first met um, Veronica, or let's call her V. Well, I do call her V. So we worked on the Philharmonic House of Design Laguna Niguel, and we got lucky that they gave us the staircase design. So this was a, um, what is it called? A non-profit organization kind of thing. It was like all the money people go to the tour, it goes to all the high schools of Orange County in the music program. So we did this one for volunteer and we want to thank to our vendors for donating for this project. We really appreciate it, especially for us as students. So this is, we did the back staircase and kind of did the hallway on the bottom and we did the cabinetry. We went very black and white, selected a few items and then crystal wall sconces, chandelier, wallpaper. I painted this cabinet three times I, and I think I did it more and then the, the wallpaper was like so hard to put on. And then, nighttime lighting always does make a difference. I, I was really happy working with Veronica or V because and the clients were happy and everyone that we work with was just so nice. And then this is one of a uh, freelance design or uh, yeah freelance job did this um, a nursery for her name's Lotus <laughs> so it was a newlywed couple and then <laughs> she uh, her name's Emma we were doing a photo shoot and she just came in and sat on the chair and then we were like, uh, okay, I guess. And then we just started taking pictures and she was really happy. So we went for a very modern, chic, very cute. The client said she wanted pink for specifically for her and her sister. Very adorable kind of design. We went, so we kept like her crib. And it's mostly for the mother though, so reading area and then mother's memorial display area just a place and then this was just a gift a tote bag for saying thank you and then new window treatments and then thank you and that's my model in life um, for interior architecture and just in any as every aspect of my life and then I still have some more extra from like just other projects this was like I forgot what this was called something heaven this is the interior space oh, let me show you better this was the interiors of, of this one yeah, so that it's on the mountain and it, it's like a piece of architecture attached to the mountain and then you walk all the way down right here and there's a waterfall. And then you come into the middle of the space and you hit the hot springs. That's just one project. And then I was told to redo this redo this project. So I went for a very adorable design. One of my friends wants to open a cafe, so this was inspired by it. I haven't showed her yet, but hopefully she'll like it. <laughs> Just a very, very quick rendering. It's not that great, <laughs> but I love swings. I don't know why I love swings so much. And then I think lastly, this is a hotel design. This is a reflective ceiling plan. Uh, I don't think I have a design or inspiration page for that. This is upside down? No, you walk in 
bathroom. This is a hotel design inspired by Gothic, so modern Gothic. And then this is the bathroom closet. This is office or desk, living area, benches, patio, kitchen, small kitchen, and um, what is it? Dining area. So this is one of the elevation. This is the bathroom, and then the bedroom closet, and then um, I did like a branch design bookshelf. <laughs> and a cute like little looks like a person with a hat looks like lady demetrix with her <laughs> i don't know if i said that right but yeah very gothic design and then this one is the elevation of the kitchen i went with the ghost chair to keep in with the theme of the gothic design patio chairs kitchen very simple i'm not really a fan of that but this part, I really do like. This is the living room area with the accent wall and you can see the reflective ceiling plan with the molding. And then inside I put like a gothic, I believe is like French inspired or came from France. So I wanted to keep the molding and then add like wall sconces. And then here is the, the dining area. And then lastly, this is the the bedroom elevation or section cut with the closet and then the sink area. Yep. And then that's the end of my portfolio. So thank you for watching. That was that was a lot. <laughs> Alright, have a good day. Bye guys.